ultimate political goal at the heart of our age is the idea of individual freedom. I believe that freedom is the future of all humanity. In Britain, our government has set out to create a revolution that will free individuals from the control of old elites and bureaucracies. A new world where we are free to choose our lives, not be trapped by class or income into predestined roles. To liberate Britain from all the old class divisions, old structures, old prejudices. To liberate the individual. And abroad, in Iraq and Afghanistan, Britain and America have set out to liberate individuals from tyranny. For those leading it, it is just a first step in a global revolution for democracy. But if one steps back and looks at what has resulted, it is a very strange kind of freedom. The attempt to liberate people from the dead hand of bureaucracy has led to the rise of a new and increasingly controlling system of management driven by targets and numbers. While governments committed to creating freedom of choice in all areas have actually presided over a rise of inequalities and a dramatic collapse in social mobility. The consequence has been a return of the power of class and privilege. And abroad, the attempt to create democracy has led not just to bloody mayhem, but a rejection of the American-led campaign to bring freedom. For your freedom, so back up right now! And it has summoned up an anti-democratic authoritarian Islamism. This in turn has helped inspire terrorist attacks in Britain itself. In response, the government has dismantled long-standing laws designed to protect our freedom. This is a series of films about how this strange paradoxical world came to be created. It begins in the dark and frightening days of the Cold War. And it will show how what we have today is a very narrow and peculiar idea of freedom that was born out of the paranoia of that time. It is based on an image of human beings as selfish, isolated and suspicious creatures who constantly monitor and strategize against each other. The films will show how politicians and scientists came to believe that this idea of human nature could be the basis of a new type of free society. But what none of them would realize was that within this dark and distrustful vision lay the seeds of a new and revolutionary system of social control. It would use the language of freedom, but in reality it would come to entrap us and our leaders in a narrow and empty world.